what's up guys how's it going welcome back we are doing another review today so yeah we're gonna be looking at this guy right here this is the colorado from vapor gates and in all reality it's a massive guy if you can see that it's sitting on my warlocks guardian and if you know anything about warlocks guardians they have a cutoff of 30 of uh, 30 millimeter rdas and this sucker is that much bigger. So we're going to take a quick look at it up close. We're going to do the whole top down kind of thing. And then we'll come back up here, do some pros and cons and all that. And you will see a quick build up on this, which that will be interesting. So yeah, I'll catch you guys back up here. <laughs> All right, guys, here it is. This is the Colorado from Vapor Gate, as you can see. Um, this is the one that was uh, lent to me for review purposes. It came in this nice nifty box and all that kind of thing. It's a very uh, straightforward wooden box with this nice uh, wood burning right here. I like it. It looks really cool. Digging it, you know, all that kind of thing. All right, let's get in here. All right, so it says vapor gate up here and all that kind of situation. And then it has a nice little card that explains all the build types you can put in there and how to build it pretty much. And we are going to aim for this guy right here is I think what I'm aiming for. Yes, that one. I don't know. Should we do this one? I'm, I'm debating because I've done this one. It's pretty cool looking. This one would be a lot easier in all reality. So I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll get there. We'll, we'll get there when we get there. All right. So we're going to move this guy out of the way. You get a couple of spares and more um, of the posts, screws, posts, O-rings. You get some, you get a Allen key. If I could get this out, uh, flathead screwdriver. get these nice little uh, plates that give you the info the Colorado vapor gate you get this top cap right here I can get this guy out it's a stainless steel top cap and it also comes with a black top cap which you can see right there right there and there's the deck as you can see it I did add a couple more posts into it uh, I don't know if this is what it comes like direct from vapor gate but I did add some more uh, some more what you calls it some more posts because it was missing a couple and I wanted to build it up with the eight setup because you know what that that's what this thing is meant for it's for them insane builds there is the top cap placed on it it's airflow works like that you just turn it around and it cuts off some of them it cuts off all of them like right there it's fully open then if you do it like this it cuts off all but like four of the holes see there it is four all but four and then it just goes like it has different steps and different levels of how much airflow it's cutting off. It just depends on where, which position you have it in and all that kind of thing. And I'll show you guys here in a second. Let me see. Let me actually position this properly because it's supposed to be like this to where the airflow is in between the coils. Like if you have a coil going from here to here, you have that air hitting it directly. So then we put this guy on here and there, look at that. I have one, two, three, four, four holes open and then it just goes all the way around. And let's see, I'm trying to show you guys all the different style of airflow, but I yeah, see that one looks like it's fully closed. Yep. That one looks partially open, but that's about it. Then that's fully open. Yep, as you can see, fully open. That's back to the four. Fully closed. Fully open. All right, so yeah, I guess it only has the two positions. 
got four all fully open and fully closed like I've done the four the four holes I've done yeah it just looks like it's just those two precision or three precisions it is what it is I mean can't really ask for a whole lot all right so let's move this out of the way so we can look at this guy a little bit closer and not have this jam box in the way makes this a little easier all right so we will uh, use this nice little handy stand as you can see uh, yeah this is like normally a 24 millimeter fits this thing perfect and as you can see that is just ridiculously big I think it's a 52 millimeter atomizer and you'll see what it looks like here on my Warlocks Guardian here in a second. It's insanity on how big this thing is. I mean, I've shown it to a couple of friends and they're like, what the hell, why? And I'm like, because it's cool. <laughs> That's really the only like thing I can say. These are replaceable. You could take them off. You would pull out this screw. There is a screw underneath and it lets you take out the post. Here, let me show you real quick. All right, so not all of these come out, but the majority of them do. As far as I can tell, that one does. And I will say this part's a little bit like messed up, but it makes sense to me. You'll see what I mean. Like they went with different styles of screw, so you know which one goes in where. But at the same time, I feel like they could have just done one set of screws and that would have been perfectly fine. But here it goes. And there it is, there is the screw right there. It goes down in there. As you can tell, very simple, very easy to take in and out. And then you just need to position that right there and you just start screwing it back down. And look at that piece of wire just came out of nowhere. So yeah, piece of a coil just was sitting in there. So that's pretty much it right there when it comes to how your post holes and things like that can be changed out and these can be repositioned in whichever format you need for whatever you're doing depending on which style of build you're going again like uh they do have a reference sheet that comes with it and you can use this guy and it shows you like which ways you can do it like i mean this is the one i've done might consider doing this one this one's a ton more coils this is like for dual coil use quad coils it just falls into what are you looking for and what ridiculousness do you want to build up and you could even remove add or subtract or that kind of thing for posts just to help out with uh the way your build deck works and all that kind of thing do you feel like this one doesn't really need all the posts in the middle like they're just in the way but mm, could be just for an airflow type situation all right we're gonna get this guy back in there I've noticed these, uh, you got to be careful with these screws. They're a little bit easy to cross thread. If you're not paying attention to how you're doing this, you can actually like end up cross threading things and making things a little bit more difficult for yourself than need be. I'm just making sure everything is ready to go over here. I know one of these gave me a hard time the other day when I was trying to clean this guy out for this review. All right, so far everything looks good to go and ready to go. All right, so that is the Colorado from Vaporgate up close and personal. Does have your serial number, a little bit more branding on the bottom. So just in case you were curious. And basically the way those posts fall into there is how your positives work and your negatives work. Uh, they're just stuck. They're built into the deck, as you can see. Let me see I could just use this guy. Uh, as you can see, these are not built into the deck, which means this can be removed. But these are built into the deck, so they can be removed. So that's how you know. This is a negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive. And most of the removable ones tend to be your positives. The rest of them are your negatives. You can see there's a peak insulator that goes through the deck itself and this cross-like formation right here you can see it right here there it is alrighty so that's basically the Colorado and uh, 
So saying that is a Colorado. It does come with a squonk pin. So this it does have a squonk option in case you are wanting to squonk this guy. Just saying, if you have a mod that can power this thing and will allow you to run it, more power to you. No pun intended. I will say on this mod, trying to power eight coils on an atomizer this big, it's a bit of a challenge. I'm not going to deny that. And right now I'm just getting this guy set up and we will go into a build portion and hopefully I don't mess this up and have to redo it. So let's, let's hope for the best and let's hope for a one take. All right, guys. So I'll catch you guys at the end of this portion and I'll see you guys up top and all that kind of thing. All righty. Cool. All right, so I'm gonna do this because I just feel that this will make my life a little bit easier. We're gonna we're gonna remove all these posts and then we're gonna put them back in. Just trying to get this done and make it look all nice. And we will post, we will remove them and put them back in. I mean, or at least the ones that we can remove because I know some of these, I think some of these are non-removable. But we're gonna we're gonna set this guy up proper.
right, guys. So that was the Colorado from Vaporgate. Uh, as you can tell, it's a massive RDA. I said it in the opening to this video. It is a massive, massive RDA. Uh, this thing can fit up to 16 coils if built up properly. I did the eight build. I went with the uh, all of them just touching the outside post. You could do it with the inner post kind of intermingling kind of thing. And here, let me show you guys again what that build looks like. Let me see if it'll focus. Uh, I won't focus. Uh, yeah, it just it won't. There's too much going on in here. Hey, let me let me do this for you guys. Uh, just give me a minute here. There we go. Look at that. That is the uh, current build I have in there. It came out to a point one two. It's a bunch of different. Uh, what do you call them? It's a bunch of different Clapton coils done in there uh it's 26 gauge by 38 gauge no 48 outer wrap and they are wrapped about like eight or nine times and just it's a full-on level of ridiculousness that i don't even know i had it built up a different way and that way was more going from the outer post to the inner post and that way it came out to the same level and all that kind of thing I will say that way you need to cut off the airflow. Otherwise, this feels like way too much air. The way I have it currently built actually works really well with it fully open. And you just got to learn to adjust for what you're looking for. And like I said on the top down, there is different ways to build it, different ways to set it up. It's just more what are you looking for in this RDA? It's a very interesting RDA. It's uh, a lot going on for an RDA in all reality. Yeah, I'm trying to line up the uh, airflow properly here. But here, let me show you guys some cloud production here. Let me show you. Uh, in there, I have Karengo by Transistor. I have it at 150 watts at 0.2 ohms. 0.12 ohms. Like, even the ramp up on this is ridiculous because it's so many coils going on all at once. It's way too much, but it's amazing. Like, I'll say as a... As a like a conversation piece as something that you just have for um you know the novelty of it it's perfect otherwise <laughs> you know that kind of type of situation the flavor on this if you build it up right like i have it right now is actually amazing uh i've tried building it like once or twice before the build up right now and I just wasn't getting what I was wanting out of it. Personally, I think this build type is the best for it because the coils are facing right into the airflow versus kind of a sideways with the airflow. Uh, the chamber is still massive. I think that's why you leave those posts in the middle. That way it shortens up the, the, the chamber a little bit and allows for the air to concentrate more. Otherwise, it probably is way too airy and way too much going on in one time. But here, I'm going to choke it up to where every other airflow is still left. All right, so we have only four of the holes open on this time. And let's see, let's give this a try. That concentrates the flavor a lot more. It chokes it up a little bit too much. It's uh, It loses a bit of air. All right, so this is just with two of the airflow open. Let's see how, how bad this is. This is gonna be terrible. It's a lot more concentrated. It's a lot more tighter. It allows you to like actually inhale a little bit longer. But other than that, uh, personally, I think fully open is perfectly fine and not that big a deal. You know what I mean? All right. So back to fully open. As you can tell, it it is clouds for days. If you're looking for something that will give you pretty good flavor pretty good clouds i do recommend that build if you want to go extreme with how many coils you put in there and all that kind of thing otherwise this guy if you put a big 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 series coil i think in dual coil mode is perfectly fine and you could use that if you want to do something else you know it's one of those things you could play around with it you don't have to even go with the card i kind of just went with it that way i could show the familiarity part portion of it but there is like you could get a little bit creative with this rda because it has so many ways to open it. I mean, I really think even if you were to pull off like a a giant, take out all the middle port, uh, middle part of it, all the posts in the middle, you could probably pull off a giant like stovetop in there. Like go with like a big fat wire and just stovetop the crap out of it. 
like a 16 gauge or something like that i think that would work amazing in this to be honest like if you were to do like a stove top uh like 16 gauge wrapped by 40 clapton coil oh my lord i think that would be insane and honestly i would like to see somebody pull it off i'm probably not gonna try but that would be really 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 cool all righty so that was the uh, Colorado by Vaporgate. Uh, if you can find it, I know they're not really that available. I know there's some floating around, but this was actually lent to me by a good friend. And he was kind enough to let it let me borrow it and try it out and all that kind of thing. And I will be sending it to him built like this. Hopefully he can enjoy it and like it. But for me, I, I don't do like the big novelty stuff because I, I try to find something as simple as possible, something that will work for me. Uh, this that's why I kind of just asked him if he would lend it to me but uh, seriously if you guys have ever tried this or have had the availability to let me know what your experiences were and all that kind of thing but yeah that is the Colorado from Vaporgate and as always go check out clownvapes.com for all your juicing coil needs and any hardware we have available if you have any suggestions for anything we do not have on the site please let me know uh, go check out clown uh not clown no oh, clown crew go check us out over on facebook i do have a group we also have a discord for said group if you guys want to come hang out on that um there's also uh i do have a patreon if you guys would like to help out with the growth of this channel or anything like that um please you know any little bit helps uh every dollar helps honestly Go check out Vaping with the Omis on Monday, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time over on the Vaping with the Omis channel. Seriously, come hang out. Have a great time with us. Talk some advocacy. Talk some vaping. Always a good time. Uh, I enjoy when we have the guests and all that kind of thing. So there's like lots of things going on. Um, we also have uh, go check out Wolf Bite over on Vape Radio noons on Saturday and 9 p.m. Central Standard Time on Sundays. We also have replays on the SoundCloud for Wolf Bite and over here on my channel on Thursdays. I've been posting older videos and things like that. That way you get to see what we do while we're recording the show. All right. So thank you guys for joining me. And as always, mix on, vape on.